Welcome back everybody, I'm your host Kevin Sparks, aka the dude, back again with my new part-time co-host, Wes. <laughs> so Wes was kind of enough, he picked this one up, uh, I think I had the option to buy it, but I think it was sold out for our, before I got to it. This is Widow Jane Lucky 13, uh, it's a blend, I didn't realize it was a blend. I even read it. Oh shit, <laughs> I thought it was a straight bourbon, it's a blend of straight bourbon whiskeys. But, it's still a blend of 13 year old. Yeah, it'll still drink. Straight bourbon whiskeys. You poured the last one on your this one, right? Alright. So I've had the Widow Jane before, the 10 year. I've never had this one. Uh, I missed out on the chance of picking up a 15 year from the East Texas Whiskey Club. They have a 15 year. We call it Black Widow. I think I saw some posts about yeah. that. Uh, but this will be the first time I've tried this one. I think this one's kosher as well. Is it? Oh, look, hold on. So I thought these were supposed to be distilled in New York, or they're produced in New York, but it says distilled in Kentucky, Texas, and Indiana. Mm. So they are sourcing this one, but uh, we'll see how it comes. Smells good. good. Smells like whiskey. And good nose. Smells like bourbon. <clears throat> what is this one bottled at? 93 proof. Mmm. What's the look on your face? Mm. It's not bad, but it's not what I, I guess what I expected. Yeah. I'm getting that, I mean, it's Texas bourbon usually, but I'm getting that same funky yeah. flavor I get yeah. from most Texas bourbons. This is the one, that's the flavor. For me, I get, I, I, know, I know what you're talking about, yeah. but I get it from the NGP offering. Yeah, and that might be what it is. And it's just, I'm getting that same old, I, I can't even put my, finger on what it actually is, but it's just this weird, I get this weird. It's the Tennessee. Is that what it's, it's, the it's charcoal? No, it's, it's, uh, it's George Dickerwell. Which explains. Yeah. Not, uh. Pour that shit down the down. Dre. <laughs> Sorry, anybody likes George Dickerwell. <laughs> just not a fan of George Dickerwell around here. It's that, uh, what do they call it, uh, Flintstones Vitamins? I'm not saying it's bad, but I probably wouldn't buy another bottle. I don't know. I mean, I'm glad you bought it. <laughs> yeah, I took the hit on this one. It's okay. And I mean, I'm really, like, I, I've enjoyed the Widow Jane 10 year in the past, and I need to take a closer look at it because it's been a while since I've had it. This is the first Widow Jane I've ever tasted. And I, I felt, and it might have been my ignorance at the time, I thought it was produced and distilled in New York, mm -hmm. and it very well could be an MGP product there, or a blend of different states. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's, it's kind of, it's, I feel like it's got George Dickel in it. There's some Dickel up in it somewhere. Yeah, I'm uh, not upset that I bought it, but I'm a little sad that I wasted a lottery pick on it. Oh, yeah. Because, I mean, my, and the options were getting fairly slim at the time, too. I might have advised you to buy this one. Or I, you, I probably, and you did, and, uh, it's, and it's okay. It's not a big deal, but I am a little irritated that I probably could have got something that you'd see more often, yeah. but I'd be happier with. Yeah. Uh, I feel bad. No, it's okay. <laughs> He'll still drink. Yeah, I mean. he'll get you drunk. Yeah, unfortunately, like, I was actually really looking forward to trying this one. Because I remember liking the, those are uh, small horses. Yeah, it's a giant dog, just walked in the room. See, I can't have a video without having some kind of animal <laughs> interruption. What's up? It literally comes up to my ass, it's a great thing. 
He's not, ah. not going to jump up. Now he's got two large right here. All right. But, uh, yeah, go on. Go on. Yeah. Um, damn tails hit the door. Yeah, this might be an unsure video. Uh, it's underwhelming. Like I, I was I had high hopes for it, and I was expecting a lot. And maybe I expected too much. And I think that was the case I did too. And uh, just seeing the post online, people talking about how good it was. It just doesn't this is just not my play. So that that, that kind of makes me wonder the, the 15 year old that the East Texas Whiskey Club got, I'm kind of wondering if it was sourced as well and blended. It would almost have to be, you think, yeah. if they're doing a 13 year blended, that yeah. means they're not producing it themselves. I don't know. And they have no problem with source. No, I don't. I mean, they're some great source burgers. Yeah. But. No, it's, now that uh, I've had a couple sips out of this one, that nose, it, it smells 100% nickel. Smells like a nickel. And I'm just not a big fan of nickel. So it could be like, it could be 90% 13 year old nickel. And just <laughs> and anything five. else. Look at the dog. Oh shit. That's all right. <laughs> it's just staring at us. <laughs> what are you guys doing? You know Scooby Doo was a great name? Yes. I love, right. I love my dance. I think that's dickle. Well, most of it's dickle. And it's just overpowered. Alright. Well, you can't have a good review every time. And we're not we're not shitting on it by any means. It's just you expect one thing and you get something else, and that's just what happens, especially in the whiskey world. That's true. But anyway, you live, in, you live and you learn. You live and you learn, and it that's part of the fun. Because if like everything was just magical rainbows every time you crack it open, then it would just become mundane. Oh yeah. Like you gotta have some lows with the highs. Anyway, thanks for watching. Don't forget to check the description below for all the ways to help out with the bills around the house. Like the video, subscribe, share it with your friends, hit the bell for notification, uh, check out the bearded idiots. Thank you again, Wes, for having oh, yeah. me. He's probably gonna be uh, be a more. We're gonna, we're gonna have him on. I'm gonna come over a little bit more and we're gonna do some reviews and share some of his whiskey with me. <laughs> Always. But, hey, you can't see it, but he's got a 1980 some odd, what year is it? Uh, it's an 82 Weller 107. He's got an 82 Weller 107 right there in that red bag that, I mean, we'll never taste it because it's just too collectible. I mean, you gotta have that fuck you money to drink it. Who knows? I might have a bad day one day and say, screw it, let's do it. You call me. <laughs> I'll, I'll be I'll be a shoulder to cry on. But uh, thanks for watching. Like always, drink some whiskey, share with your friends and family. Be safe, don't drink a drive, take care. We'll see you next time. Cheers.